Hi everyone, my name is Alex Barker. I'm the product manager here at Micrometer for the VCone. Today, I'd like to go over a couple of frequently asked questions to try to add, give an added technical resource to our customers and provide some more general information. Our customers often ask us about flow turndowns for the V-Cone. Standard, we size meters for a 10 to 1 turndown. Now, we can go much lower than that, sometimes 30 to 1 or 50 to 1. It really depends on the conditions that you have and you're able to provide us. Now, the one thing that I would stress is the type of electronics configuration as it relates to turndown. Take, for example, you have a flow with a maximum DP of 250 inches. You would obviously choose a 250 inch transmitter to go along with that. But if you're measuring all the way down to almost zero inches of water column, you might find that 50% of your flow is in the bottom 10% of your transmitter signal range. In order to compensate for that on high turndowns, you're gonna to wanna to combine a 25 inch transmitter with that setup. Stacking those transmitters will give you the full range of accuracy in the signal measure. The VCON has a number of different approvals. On a countrywide basis, we look at the biggest one being for our European customers, the CE marking associated with the European Pressure Equipment Directive. Additionally, for Canadian approval, we have the CRN or Canadian Registration Number. The VCON has approvals for those in all of the different Canadian provinces and for our custom model numbers can actually apply for those new registrations. Some might be thinking about drinking water certifications. At this time, the VCON does not have an NSF 61 certification. However, there are a number of other product offerings Micrometer has that could help you with that technology. Finally, all of our meters are calibrated at our facility uh, on site over here to the NavLab certification of ISO 17025 for maximum accuracy. Micrometer V-Cone is a highly robust and durable item. It has a standard lifespan of around 25 years. However, in speaking with certain customers, I found meters that are older than that still on the market and the people are asking technical data for. If you're looking to specify a V-Cone for your application, you'll need to gather a few pieces of information before we get started. First is taking a look at process properties, particularly pressure, temperature, flow rate, and the fluid properties of the fluid you're trying to measure. Second are gonna be the properties of your line, particularly the uh, internal diameter of your line, the pipe schedule, and the flange class pressure rating. Once you've gathered all this information, you're able to take it over to our V-Cone sizing program. There, you're able to input the information and get preliminary engineering calculations to see what the DP in your line might be and to make adjustments as necessary. The VCON is able to measure a large amount of flow media through a number of different industries. Uh, fluid that is, can be found in the oil and gas industry and the power generation industry to pulp and paper, to mining, HVAC systems applications, and wastewater treatment. The VCone is a highly customizable product. Leveraging our engineering assets, we're able to take a set of specifications that you'd be able to pass off to us in order to create a highly customizable cone. For example, we can do more on the simpler side, things like over custom overall lengths, as well as bi-directional flow applications. For more complex cones, we can take a look at higher levels of material specification. For example, we once had a meter where a customer requested a Hastelloy cone and an internally cladded ink alloy layer all on a low temp carbon steel meter, which was then painted. So we can go from all the way to the very simple to highly complex projects. Micrometer offers two different types of DP technologies. The first is our standard spool of V-cone, and the second is our compact and flangeless form factor wafer cone. 
there are a number of similarities in terms besides the technology. Also looking at the straight run requirements, a zero to three diameter straight run requirement upstream and a zero to one diameter requirement downstream. Now there are a number of slight differences between the two of them. The accuracy of the standard spooled V cone is up to half a percent, while the wafer cone is up to plus or minus one percent. The range of beta ratios is the same from zero to four five to zero eight five. However, the form factor of the wafer cone provides something very interesting. It is a hot swappable and removable cone. So over time, as conditions in your line change, you can change out the cone without having to purchase the overall meter. For example, a customer that's measuring with a two inch wafer cone on a wellhead can place that cone at the initial time of purchase. A couple of years down the road, the flow of gas out through the line might decrease and that decreases their overall DP. If they wanna not focus on buying another meter, you have two options. First, changing out the cone as I just showed you. The second is a number of custom reducers that we have can apply. You can take out that two inch wafer cone, replace it with a one inch wafer cone, but with the reducers, the overall length is of the reducers plus one inch wafer cone simulates that of the two inch wafer cone, requiring no need for additional pipe conversions. There are a number of cone meters on the market today. However, there is only one V-cone, and we are the original cone meter. Micrometer's V-cone was invented and patented in 1985 and has since been an industry leader in DP measurement. We have over 75,000 V-cones installed throughout six continents over the world, and that number continues to grow year over year.